Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. P channel. One of my viewers of my channel pointed out that there is an Android app called Octopus. This is the guy, this is Octopus, the bluish funky looking octopus icon. And this app is allows you to um, map your uh, USB key, USB keyboard and a mouse to Android games. So this means you can play a game controlling with a keyboard and a mouse and a gamepad. If, for example, the game is not supporting a gamepad functionality, you can uh, map a uh, gamepad, keyboard, mouse to virtually any game. So in this video, I'll try a couple of games and I'll see how they perform with a keyboard and a mouse. So stay tuned. Before I'm gonna, gonna open any of these um, games, I'd like to point out that if you're running a game through Octopus app, Google Play Store stop working. It won't gonna work. Uh, something to do possibly because this app is being created for um, for Asia region, like a Chinese Japan, all them, and somehow they just don't wanna work with the Google Play Store. I was trying the Guns of Boom earlier, and just for some reason, every time when I opening this app, this game through this app. Google Play Store just don't want to work, it just don't detect, it's just not working at all. Um, so, to work around is, I believe, if you connect your app, your game, to another online account, a part of Google Play Store, like for example, Rules of Survival, I know it allows you to link your Facebook account. This possibly will help you to keep your save or progress files synced in. I don't know this, I'm always using Google Play Store, never use Facebook to connect in and keep my save files uh, like synced in. So I might lying, I don't know. But let's start by, okay, let's start Rules of Survival. Let's see how it's gonna go. I open two Ys. That's not good. I keep forgetting that this one click instead of double click. So opening a game, let's see if it's gonna go in a full screen mode. Okay and nope just don't want to go on a full okay no window mode so for some reason this game is just right now i tried off the camera i mean like i, I try i was trying this game without recording it and it was running in perfectly for some reason now you just don't want to go in um in the full screen mode i can understand but let's try another game which is called dead effect so let's open this up and let's go full screen mode so I'm in a full screen mode. And what you see now, it says Dead Effect 2 won't run without Google Play Store services. That's what I meant to, uh, what I was trying to explain to you earlier. It's just for some reason, when you're opening this, any game by Octopus, it's just somehow Google Play Store activation or Google Play Store service won't work. And by here, I should get the button saying use cloud data, but I don't have. So, um, let's use local one still click on these options that I want to pass to continue because I was messing about earlier so I have already created a character so let's start game and I'll show you how to how to map the keys so let's move my face somewhere up there so chapter one right okay so it's intro so let's let's wait until so finishes And for some reason, it's not kept the file, keep the save file. I don't know. It's so weird, right? Let's wait until Soul finishes. And uh, yes, follow, follow, follow to the left. I'm using a left mouse click just to drag left and right. And here we are. A few hours earlier, well, earlier, a few hours later. Okay, it's to be too loud. Right, so I'm about to start the game. This game works perfectly on my NVIDIA Shield TV with a controller, Shield controller. But let's say you wanna play this with the keyboard and the mouse. As you can see, I'm pressing the and nothing's happening. So if I go in here, oh, it's already saved some of my functions. So let's let's reset and I'll show you how to set it up. So uh, WASD, I know somewhere here. Let's make it a bit bigger because I know it's somewhere here to move about. Right, keys, fire, fire goes on this button. Sight is basically I need to find the center where I will press the button and it will shoot. 
or basically the site where that's where the shooting happens. A somewhere here should be reload. So I'll use this R and let's leave as it is now. To move about, you need to click, uh, what's this called? The left button and walk about. So you click and hold the left button to move around and WASD is to basically control the character and basically where you're going. So let's, let's get this medic thing happened. Come on, come on, come on. How long? Let's see. So let's go pick up weapon. I'll show you how to set up the shooting. Uh, so if I go closer to here, as you see this hand is basically activating. So if I click this, choose the, the button and use E. So every time I press E, it will activate. And now just holding the mouse and just to uh, accept my fingerprint using WASD to move about. So now I got the gun. So I have now a gun. So to move about, site is need to reset the site. So site is somewhere here in the middle. So R is the reload here and um, another key which is here. Let's do F is for zoom. Fire to, to, to game mode, that's fine, and that's it. So now to move about, you click the right mouse button and hold. I'm usually doing the middle somewhere, so right now, every time I hold this around, I can move about. It's not totally 360 degrees, well, it does 360 degrees, but that's plenty. You can allow or set up the sensitivity under attributes. So POV sensitivity, what that means, if you click the right mouse button, how far, how fast you can move about. Transparent buttons, obviously how, how you want to see them, I just a bit to know exactly what's over there. And let's move this about 75%, looks like 75% by there. So right mouse button click and move about. So WSD to move. Cut in scene, let's wait until it finishes. <clears throat> Again, because the Google Play Store is not working and it says to files that have been saved in local, I don't know how all this progress will be happening. You're probably going to play, 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 and then realize that actually not one single save file has been saved. So let's move about. I'm moving my camera using the mouse, right mouse button click. So, and left mouse button, while I'm holding the right mouse button, I'm having, I'm shooting them down. Okay. Okay. Right. Swap weapons. I need to click on one of these triangles. So let's move backwards a bit and quickly, uh, quickly set up. So I'll put this one here and I'll do Q. So every time I click Q, you swap weapons. Right mouse button holding and left mouse button click shooting so let's let's do a bit of gaming so let's go so after a long period of time to be honest holding the right mouse button will be a pain so that's why there was a, a tutorial how to activate this I'll try this later I'll try this later and see how it's gonna go I'm a bit pissed off that um, tools of survival don't want to work okay Reload and a bit if off that the guns of boom don't want to work. So, as you can see, it's it's playable, uh, and I'm using keyboard and mouse. Jump, I don't think it, this game got jammed. Oh, good, okay. I need to go here, that's fine. Okay, doggy. Stay put. This dog looks like this one from uh, Doom. 
I just missed so many times. Okay. So yeah, this game works perfectly, and I'm not sure about the saves. Like I said, because the Google Play Store don't want to work for some reason while you're using Octopus app. Um, your progress can be, um, well, not saved. Right. The other game, what we're going to try, I think it's called Crime Online or something. It's like a CS Go. So I need to go and find where the C letter starts. Maybe here we are. Crime Revolt Online Shooter Add. So the game is added to the Octopus library. So let's tap once and it's saying launching guy and game for the first time. I don't know if it's modifying the APK file or something else. It's just doing something that I'm allowed to map the keys. Full screen mode. Okay, full screen mode is working. That's good. So let's wait until it fully loads and see if this game can work without Google Play Store or no. So let's wait. Loading and loading 60, 100% bingo. I'm in. Let's wait. Right. Touch the right side of the screen to move about. Obviously, I can use uh, the left mouse button while it's still not mapped. But if I'll click Octopus and I'll go, oops, I'll go to game mode, keyboard, and drag the key here, J increase just a bit leave it fold so now WASD is working and I can move around with the left mouse button okay so now the shooting begins again octopus sight uh, is here fire is gonna be somewhere here possibly so let's see how it goes walk to the what I'm uh, okay that's where the shooting site is. So click Octopus, move that one up here. Site already set up in the middle of the screen. Oh, I don't, I don't even need to. Jesus Christ, it's too loud. Hold on, let me put the volume down. I don't even need to hold the, the shooting button. I just. Uh, Alright, swap the weapons. Time to snipe. Turn on zoom. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Understand that. Understand. This is not a shooting thing. This is actually zoom. So zoom. We need a uh, letter F. F gonna be for zoom. So here we are. Zoom. That's it. Time to throw a grenade. Grenade, okay, fine. Grenade, let's map this to be G. G for grenade. Okay, so G. And I crashed the game. <laughs> oh no, that's fine. I passed the training. Contract, take, open. This is the first time I'm playing this game. So I need to take, what's this, I don't know, submission, equip, upgrade, spend, equipment, buy, battle. So right now I'm ready to battle, so I'm probably going to play against other players, but I'm going to use keyboard and the mouse to control. Let's join blue team. So fight in, right, okay, so fight. So that's it, okay. Um, mouse buttons, this one needs to be set up a bit here, it was too low. That's it, I'm using a keyboard and a mouse to do gaming. PUE sensitivity, uh, attributes a bit up, up to 75%. Was, uh, camera was moving too slow. Okay, and reload, I saw reload is going to be here, R is for reload. I hope I mapped all the keys that I need. So let's do this. I'm probably gonna be owned. F is working perfectly. 
path is working perfectly. Okay. Let's see if that's where the look of this with the mouse is a bit let's increase sensitivity a bit more. All right, you're my comrade. Yes, one's dead. Okay, anyone else? So far I'm uh, I'm doing well. The camera the not that great <laughs> to move the camera with the mouse in this game. Oh shoot. Not seeing who's alright. Okay. Ah Ah is basically the same button for reload and then to start them the battle. So that's good. One button does two functions. Let's click the right mouse button in the middle in this way. You can actually uh, go to a settings here and do a sensitivity 50. Back, resume. So then actual mouse movement will be brilliant. So you tweak a bit the in game settings with this Octopus app. Is this is a how the freaking hell he shoots through a wall? That's great. <laughs> uh, R is for reload. Blue team, I'm on blue team, right. Something happened with the mouse, oh no. Again, the mouse settings, you need to play about, otherwise... Otherwise, you're gonna be uh, stuck. It's, it's not perfect, it's not perfect, but it's doable. It is doable. Anyway, that's fine. That's plenty for this video. So, uh, I would like to say thank you to my viewer who suggested this to try Octopus working perfectly up to a certain degree on a deck station. Some of the games is perfectly working with this kind of setup, some of them not. Uh, in the future, I'll try this activation thing where you don't need a uh, hold the right mouse button, which I mean advanced mode. I'll try to do this um and see how it's gonna perform and uh, thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video i'll try i'll test more games with this kind of setup and i'll see you in the near future Bye bye